All right, guys, it's a windy day, but we're talking about one of my favorite things, and that is what's in your gear bag, food photography edition. So we're gonna smoke up some ribs and we're gonna talk about some gear. Let's dive in. So as I've started this journey in the YouTube thing, I, I started shooting with the Sony a7 II and I kind of had some, a variety of lenses, we'll just say that. I tried little bits here and there, tried a couple different ones, but I knew that I wanted to upgrade to better glass and at some point in time I was going to need to upgrade to a better body, just a little bit newer. There's some B-roll stuff that I'd like to be able to do and having a camera that can shoot a higher frames per second and just a little bit better on some of the focus points and that kind of stuff. I ended up going with the Canon R8. I looked at the Canon uh, R6 MK2, but I decided for the money, this was gonna be my best option. It was, it's definitely a massive upgrade. I'm still trying to get used to it, but it is, it's awesome so far. I've only had it for a couple days, so I'm shooting on it right now. And I am learning. It is a learning process all over again. So, I also paired this with the RF 15-35 f2.8. And boy, I love this lens. This thing, it's nice. So at the beginning of the year, I was doing everything editing-wise on a old MacBook Air. It was... The lagging was terrible, all kinds of stuff. It's just a computer I'd had around for quite a while. And I was using Premiere Pro, which definitely did not help with the lagging. As you know, the Creative Cloud and the amount of information it takes up, especially on an old computer, it was a little bit, it was a little heavy. Well, I switched over to the new MacBook Pro. I don't know if it's a 14 or whatever it is. I don't know, M1, M2, I don't know all these details, but it's been awesome. Fast, the whole nine yards, but the crashing with Premiere Pro still didn't, it, it was still happening. And that was getting pretty frustrating. And I'm not even running big files. It's not, it, you can tell there's not a ton of information or brains that goes into this operation I've got going on here. But it was still happening. Two weeks ago, I switched over to DaVinci Resolve and it was quite a bit of a learning curve, but, man, do I like it a lot. Now that I've started learning some of the process and some of the little quirky things of how to do things faster, man, I sure do like that. I'm still using Lightroom for my photos. Uh, I just love it. I use it on the phone. I use it on the, the MacBook. Pretty soon I'll have a tablet to go along with it, but just awesome stuff. But we're going to jump in. We've got to pull some ribs off. All right, guys, so the ribs turned out absolutely awesome. I uh, had a lot of fun. Big shout out to Whiskey Bent Barbecue and Big Unks. Did a couple different flavor combos and they turned out just amazing. On the gear, you know, some of the little things like filters. Um, I was using the PM or the Polar Pro PM Edition 2 Mist filters on some. I don't have it for this yet. I've got a KNF on here, but I will be getting those. Probably the normal. I've got the, I still have the mist. I can use those on my 85 millimeter lens, but right now we're doing just the, the K and F, but I will get those in. Other little things, you know, the tripods, I've got the Joby, I've got the road mic, all of that kind of stuff. But you know, it's still a, it's an evolution in gear for me. It's fun to do these little check-ins and just see what I'm using and what other people are using. So let me know what you guys have, what your go-tos are, and if you have any questions, you know, drop me a comment. Other than that, you guys have an awesome weekend and cheers. Thought I had it there. I did. I didn't have it at all. It escaped me. It's windy as a mother.